Okay, so P2. Title of P2 is to explain the four pillars of the Internet of Everything and how its innovations can transform businesses. So this is about the four pillars and how they ind individually could all co come together to make a big difference to a business. Okay, so what is the four pillars or should you say what are the four pillars of the Internet of Everything? Well, if we look at that picture there of the Acropolis in Greece, we can see that these big, strong pillars are holding up the roof, okay? Or in that case, not very well now after thousands of years. But if the internet is the roof of a building and these pillars are the structure that's holding it up, each pillar is fundamentally important to the success of the, st the sturdiness of that roof, which is the internet. In this task, you're going to be extending your P1 and writing to the Gatwick Hotels Association again. And you're going to explain to them what the four pillars are and how it can transform a business. In this section, you do need to be linking it to the hotel industry in any way that you can. Now, I'm not expecting you to be hotelier experts. I'm not expecting you to be, you know, the uh, the the, the fun, 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 fountain of knowledge on hotels but i am expecting you to do a little bit of research and think about how this could be done and i'll come on to that a little bit more in a minute so what are the four pillars well we have people data process and things people that's you or i okay that's the people who are going to be using that service that internet that connection the data that is on there is so important okay if data is ever out of date if data is ever not valid ever biased or or illegible data then means that the whole of the internet or the whole of that website becomes devalidated and often people will then stop using it i can give you an example of this if if you were to buy something on amazon and it said it would come the next day because it was in stock but it actually wasn't in stock and you were going to be waiting a week or two weeks that then may lead you to uh be a bit disgruntled with amazon and not wish to order from them again or it may lead you to complain or it may lead you to leave a negative review okay and obviously reviews affect businesses as well Another example of this data being incorrect could be something along the lines of uh, the data that's given to us by the government in their press conferences. If the data that they give us is not accurate, not up to date, then suddenly the whole validity of what they're saying is, is, is jeopardized. OK, process, how we access things. Why do companies have an app over just using a regular website? OK, and the process to get to that information has to work. Otherwise, people will stop using it. If you have a website that people struggle to find or struggle to struggle to get to or they click on it, and it says not available at the moment. They will look elsewhere and that will affect business things, devices and objects. If I have an old mobile phone that doesn't support the uh, the data type or the information that is being given to me, then I can't access it. And that then affects my ability to use the information that's being provided to me. So all of these pillars are fundamentally important to the success of the internet. So you need to have a think about how uh, the internet of everything has transformed businesses, be that from robotics, from automation, from the ability to advertise online and allow customers to be able to access their information online and in an easy and quick way. Really, the internet of everything has allowed businesses to be more reachable by people across the world at any given time. It expands their connections, it expands the opportunity for them to be uh, accessed and for people to spend their money which is ultimately the, the main purpose of a business and so you need to think about how the internet of everything could transform businesses and maybe use some examples that you can find about how it has transformed certain businesses into more successful or more profitable businesses than they were prior to the use of an innovation so what does the specification say? Well, the specification says that you need to be able to explain the interconnection of the four pillars of the internet of everything people, data, process and things. And you need to explain them in the evolution of technology and it must be explained with an ex explanation of how these innovations can transform businesses on a, on, a, on a bigger scale. So you need to talk about a bigger scale but also link it back to hotels. Please like and subscribe to the channel so that you can get updates as the videos are uploaded.